This sponsored tutorial is part three of our five part hosting series on this channel. The full playlist is linked to in the description down below if you want to check that out. And in this tutorial, we're going to create a custom at your domain name.com email address. I'm going to show you a bunch of the settings involved in doing that. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. I try to answer the best I can. My name is Bjorn from WP Learning Lab. We will help you get better at WordPress so you can earn more for yourself, for your customers, and for your business. If you haven't done so yet, click subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss any future videos. Now let's get started. To set up an email in your hosting account is pretty straightforward. All you have to do is go to emails. And here we see we have 100 available inboxes with our free email service with Hostinger. You can also get a new email plan by clicking here. We're going to ignore that since we have the one that's free and comes with the account. Click on this arrow to manage its settings and add email addresses and stuff like that. So here are the options we have. We have email accounts where we can create new email accounts and manage our existing ones. We have internal forwarding where we can have unique email addresses that we display out in the world that are then forwarded to our main email addresses. For example, you could have outreach at yourwebsite.com and that forwards to bob at yourwebsite.com. And you could have as many as you want. You could have outreach, you could have inreach, overreach, whatever you want as the, as the email address and then forward that to a specific email account. And then we have the catch all email. This is an email inbox that catches everything that doesn't go to an existing email inbox. For example, if you have the email address info at your domain name, but somebody misspells it and they spell it invo with a V instead of an F, then that would go to a catch all email. If you don't have a catch all email set up, that email would just disappear into the ether. It'd be gone. But with a catch all email, you can catch all misspellings and everything. You could, they might be typing in Frank at your domain name.com, even though nobody named Frank even works there. But that would go into the catch all email if you have one set up. You can import email data from your existing email addresses using IMAP. There's a domain verification tab, which allows you to verify your domain, which improves your deliverability. There's a mobile app specific to the hosting your emails powered by Titan. This is an email service. You could also just IMAP this directly or pop three directly into your phone if you don't want to use the app. There is custom DKIM, which also improves your deliverability. You can configure a desktop app using the instructions found here. You can upgrade your plan for extra features. If you saw earlier, we're on the free email address account. We have 100 free emails, and here's your billing and subscription information. If we go to upgrade plan, just to see what else we get for a higher level email plan. For $2.19 per mailbox per month, we get more storage, custom DKIM support, 10 email aliases, advanced anti-spam antivirus protection, and multi-account support. You can also upgrade to enterprise, which increases your storage size, gives you email filters, increases your email aliases, adds an antivirus check, and multi-device support. So decide whether you need those things, and you can add them on if you want. The free one is pretty good for me. I wouldn't need anything beyond the free, even though a 10 gigabytes is pretty small. It depends on what kind of work you're doing. An email alias is kind of like a forwarding email, but it's different. A forwarding email is something like outreach at your domain name.com. Someone sends an email to there and it goes into your inbox, but you cannot reply using that address, outreach at your domain name.com. With email aliases, however, you could create that same email address, outreach at your domain name.com. People can send to it, it goes into your main inbox, but then in your main inbox, you can choose to reply using outreach at your domain name.com. You can have 10 of those. You could have info at, outreach at, billing at, suppliers at, all his email aliases, and those can all be sent into one email address like bob at your domain name.com, and then bob can reply to all of those emails using those email aliases. I hope that made sense. Basically, you have one email inbox, but you can send and receive emails as though you have 10 different email inboxes is what these 10 email aliases will allow you. And if you're finding this tutorial helpful, click the like button because that helps this video show up for more people on YouTube so we can spread the knowledge and help more people with this information. So make sure you click like if you like this video. With the enterprise plan, you have 50 email aliases. And hopefully you don't have one person managing all 50 emails because that would be a lot of work. So we're going to stick to the free plan. Let's go back to our emails and the options that we saw here. We're going to create a new address right now. Let's click on email accounts. Then let's click on create new email account. Let's add a name here. I'm going to use Bob since we had that in our example. I'm going to 
add a password. I'm gonna make it an easy one so I can remember it. I'm not gonna auto-generate it. Password recovery email address. Let's use the usual suspect. And then click on create new email account. And that's it. Our email account has been created. It is bob at testingnewwebsite1234.com. We can access it by clicking on this link. Then we log in with our email. Let's just copy and paste this. Clicking access webmail will take you to the same page. By the way, let's copy this email address. Enter our password. Yours should be hard to guess. Mine's pretty straightforward. And this is our recovery email. Confirm. That's good. And now we have some options that they go through here. Email templates, email tracking, follow-up reminders, and scheduled sending. Follow-up reminders are pretty handy. Gmail has these built in as well now. But email tracking is not something you customarily see in email inboxes. That'll show you when someone's opened your email, which is pretty handy. Click on Get Started. Let's add a display name, Bob. You can set a professional signature. Let's do that now. Signature name, let's call this Bob Signature 1. This will be for our own purposes so we can identify which signature is which. This will not be displayed in the signature itself. Uh, let's call this Bob's Widgets, the company name. Bob's the name of the guy who's receiving these emails or sending these emails. Let's make Bob the CEO. Bob CEO, Bob's Widgets, and maybe a website. And there we have our email signature. You can make it much more complex. You can change the font, you can change the size, bold, italicize, underline, colors, add a link, be handy for the website, let's do that. Let's copy that fake website and I'll control V, insert that there. Now we have a link to Bob's website in our signature. We can also add images. Maybe we want a mugshot of Bob in there. You can also view the HTML code and you can edit it. So if you know some HTML, you can add special tags in here that are not supplied in the WYSIWYG editor and you can have a pretty highly customized signature widget. Click on save once you're done and this will be the default signature that's sent out. We also have other options as you can see here. There's the account option, stuff we set up already, our name. You can set a display picture for outgoing emails, which you set on Google for your Gmail recipients. That's interesting. Recovery password, email storage is one gigabyte more actions, change password, clear cache, general settings. I know you know how to read. You can click through all of these. They're all pretty self-explanatory. Email tracking is an interesting one. Rules for filtering emails, no doubt. Let's create a new rule. When an incoming email meets all of these conditions. Uh, let's see, sent to info at, do the following. Move to, I wonder if we can add more folders. Because one thing you can do with email aliases is whenever an email is sent to, that email alias, let's pretend this was an alias. It's a real email address that I created for a different tutorial. Let's pretend it's an alias. When email is sent to here, it can be put into a specific folder. So you have bob at your domain name, which is the main inbox. And then for every alias, you can have a separate folder. And whenever emails come in from that alias, it goes into that folder. Let's put this in archive for now. You know what, I'm not I'm gonna mark it as, I'm gonna star it instead. And I'll create the rule. Got to give it a name, filter, info at, just hit star, that's fine. Signatures, we can add more if we want to. Forwarding, this is for forwarding emails from Gmail to Titan. This is forwarding out emails from Titan to another email account. Vacation autoresponder, and you can import contacts. So let's see if we can make another folder. I'm not gonna set up this forwarding right now, I'll do this later, or not at all. Download the mobile app, we talked about that earlier. And before we finish setting up our inbox, I wanna see if we can add, there's add a folder. We could call this one info at, and then we can go back into our settings, which are up here under the gear icon. Preferences, go to rules. Let's update this one. And we wanna move it to our new folder, info at. And that's what you do for email aliases to keep your inbox clean and organized. Now every email coming into the info at email, if that's an alias, would go into this folder and show a little number. Like we have a one right here, we have an unread in the inbox. there would be numbers for unreads in whatever email alias folders you have. And now we have a functioning email inbox. We can also finish our setup. I don't think these steps are necessary. If you don't have a Gmail account, I wouldn't worry about this step because you don't need to forward from your Gmail. This is likely to be from a free Gmail account because in G Suite, you can have your own at domain name email address. So that's probably from a free Gmail account. If you don't want to import your contacts, don't worry about this. But if you do want to, you can import from Gmail or a CSV file. You can download the app. We saw this displayed earlier. It's in the App Store for iPhone and in the Android Google Play Store. And you can share your new email by doing one of these or all of these 
or more than these, wherever you want to share your email, make sure you update your new email address. And it's also smart to, if your old email address was your Gmail address, it's smart to update that and forward it to this new one because if you forget to update it somewhere or somebody has an old address of yours, it still comes to the right place. And that's all there is with setting up email addresses in Hostinger. And you can set up to 100 in the free account. Let's go back to our emails here. We have 100 available mailboxes. So you can't set up 100 at domain name.com for different domain names, but for this domain name right here, we can have 100 mailboxes for that. It can be one for Jane at, Bob at, Frank at, suppliers at, info at. You can have 100 of those with the free account. And that should cover most people's needs. Click on go for it. It'll take you down here. Review all the material. Compare it to other hosting plans. You'll find that hosting or hosting is a really, really good deal for everything that you get. If you compare it to, say, SiteGround, for example. SiteGround is great hosting, but it's also much more expensive than Hostinger. And here's a prime example. For the single website hosting plan on Hostinger, it is $1.39 a month when it's on sale. When it's on sale at SiteGround, it's $3.99. When it's not on sale at Hostinger, when you renew, that's when you get the renewal price, which is $2.99 a month. At SiteGround, it's $15 a month. So it's way cheaper. You also get three times the storage space. The same approximate number of monthly visitors. You get a free SSL, just like everywhere else. Probably a Let's Encrypt SSL. Yeah, Let's Encrypt. You don't get the free domain or the free ads credit. That's fine. 100 gigabytes of bandwidth, managed WordPress, WordPress acceleration, two databases. I guess one would be for a staging site. If you have one website, you have the, the production site and the staging site, so you get two databases for that. Although when you use plugins like WP Vivid, you can do both of those just in one database. And then when you get up to the higher plans, the differences get even greater. For example, here are the business shared hosting, 100 websites on SiteGround's unlimited for their biggest plan, 200 gigabytes of storage, SiteGround 40, approximately 100,000 monthly visits. That's not very many. SiteGround's 400 for that level. And you get free email, free SSL, free domain, Google Ads credit, probably 150, doesn't say. Unlimited bandwidth, managed WordPress, uh, doesn't mention how many databases, unlimited databases right there, unlimited databases. But 100 websites is more or less unlimited. There aren't very many people that have more than 100 websites. And when it's on sale, this plan is four bucks a month. On sale on SiteGround, it's 10.69 a month. When it renews, when it's not on sale, this plan is nine bucks a month on Hostinger and $40 a month on SiteGround. There's even more features. Click on here, see more features roll out. Feel free to come here and check these out and compare it to other hosting, but you'll find Hostinger is great hosting and it's a really good deal. It's very affordable. So once you're ready to check out, click on go for it like I did already, select the one you want. Let's choose the biggest plan. I'm gonna choose 48 months because that's when you save the most because the you get the regular price when it renews. So it renews at $8.99 a month in 2025 if you choose 48 months. You save 75%. Each plan you'll save, but you'll save less. So pick the one that's right for you. You do have to pay the whole amount at once, so the total will be $191, but then you have 48 months of hosting done. That's four years. That's pretty awesome. You can pay with credit card, PayPal, and what you rarely see, cryptocurrency, CoinGate. You can pay with any anyone they support. It looks like Bitcoin, and I don't even know what they all are. But there's a whole bunch listed right here in these little icons, so I'm sure they support a lot of different cryptocurrencies. And if you're here when it's not the Black Friday sale, even when it is, actually, come down to the coupon, have a coupon code, and paste in WP Learning Lab, all capitals. I haven't tested whether it works on lowercase, but all capitals works. Click on plus and watch this price. The Black Friday sale gets you 191.52 over 48 months. Use this coupon that I negotiated for you guys. It's down to 178. So this coupon is even cheaper than the Black Friday sale. And it applies to every yearly plan. Maybe every plan, not this one. So it's every yearly plan. You gotta go 12 months, 24 months, 48 months, and you get the savings from that coupon. And when it's not Black Friday, this is still the price you get even when it's not Black Friday. And when it is Black Friday, you actually get it cheaper by using the coupon code. So make sure you apply the coupon code. It's down in the description down below in case throughout this video you forget what it is. WP Learning Lab. Just pop it right in there and get a giant discount. And then you choose how you want to pay. You fill out your info 
and you're in. Next up is checking out the whole Hostinger playlist. It's right over here. Check it out right there. And if you haven't done so yet, click subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss your future videos. My name is Bjorn from WP Learning Lab. Till next time, keep crushing it, and I will see you in the next video.